The winged helmet of Michigan, one of the more recognizable helmets in college football. But do you know the story behind it? Because it's a pretty cool story. This is Michigan Stadium, the big house, the largest stadium in North America. Its capacity is 107,601. That one seat is for Michigan legend Fritz Chrysler. And that's where our winged helmet story begins. Fritz Chrysler became the head coach at Michigan in 1938. One of the first things he did was paint the helmets. Chrysler had introduced a winged helmet look at Princeton in 1935 and thought, why not do it at Michigan? Before he arrived on campus, Michigan wore black leather helmets. He had the helmets painted maize and blue, thinking this unique helmet could be especially helpful to his passers as they tried to spot their receivers downfield. Hmm, winged helmets were actually pretty common in the 1930s. Leather helmets had extra panels on them, some in the shape of wings in the front with lines running over the top. So the schools would just paint them their school colors. How common were winged helmets? Indiana, Michigan State, and Ohio State. They all wore a winged helmet design before Michigan, but the Wolverines are the only FBS program to wear them consistently since 1938. But it doesn't mean they haven't had changes. In 1956, the Wolverines added two inch tall numbers to each side of the helmet. Then a year later in 57, the center stripe was extended to the very bottom of the helmet. 1969, Bo Schembechler becomes head coach. First order of business, he removes the numbers from the side of the helmet and implements helmet stickers in the shape of yellow footballs. I use the term stickers loosely. In the beginning, the equipment manager would use yellow tape and cut it into the shape of a football to make the sticker. In 1975, the helmet stickers get a huge upgrade as a Wolverine appears in them. The sticker is also more oval and less football shaped. In 1976, the school officially tweaks the stripes in the back of the helmet. The center stripe tail, it's gone, and all three stripes meet at one point just above the bottom of the helmet. I say officially switched in 1976 because I was watching game footage in 1975 to make sure my timeline was accurate, and I noticed some players had the tail on the back of the helmet, and other players, it was already changed to this type of striping. Here's what happened. At that time, Michigan was using McGregor helmets. This is one of them. They would paint the helmets, and then a clear shell was put over it to protect the paint job. The problem with the McGregors is the helmet kept cracking. So in 1976, they switched to bike helmets and had the new paint job where the lines all came together. Then in 1982, the stripes are tweaked once again with all three converging at the bottom of the helmet. Okay, back to the helmet stickers. In 1983 and 84, Bo Schembechler did away with the stickers to focus more on team goals. But in 85, they returned and then they evolved with football laces added over the Wolverine. When Lloyd Carr became coach in 1995, he did away with the stickers altogether. New Year's Day 2013, the Wolverines play in the Outback Bowl, and for the first time in school history, they use a matte finish for the navy blue part of the helmet. Now the helmet, along with the uniforms and a loss to South Carolina, left a bad taste in the mouth of many in the program, and the entire uniform was scrapped. September 7, 2013, Michigan plays a night game against Notre Dame. Blue flecks are added to the paint job. The equipment staff thought the helmets would pop under the lights, but they didn't. In fact, almost no one noticed. Plus the paint scratched easily, so after the game, equipment staff started painting over it with the normal blue color. 2016, the helmets are changed to a satin finish. Not quite as flat a paint as the Outback Bowl in 2013, but close. In 2019, the wings on the front of the helmet are adjusted. They're made much larger and the points of the wings bend upward. Some of the programs say gives it a more menacing look. Now, Jim Harbaugh brought back helmet stickers in 2015, but up the game in 2021. Instead of just a Wolverine on a sticker, there's now a variety of stickers that will tell a player's story. They'll have one with the area code from where they grew up, one that indicates each program when they were involved in. For example, the first win of the 2021 season would be the 965th in program history. The captains will have a sticker with a C on it, and so on and so on. It will be a diverse collection for each player. That's it. That's the story of Michigan's winged helmets. I want to thank John Folk, who was the equipment manager here at Michigan from 1974 through 2013 for helping me out, telling me some stories, and making sure this was as accurate as possible. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Hooked on Helmet videos.